Well, hello there. If you are new to my channel, my name is Betsy, and today I'm going to be working on something just a little different than what I usually work on. And so I'm just kind of getting settled in here. And uh, what I've got here are, first of all, the drawing that I did during the last live stream. We only did the line work for that. And I also have another drawing that I did last night as well. I'm kind of trying to catch up right now since I am, a, in a sense, a little bit behind on my 100-day project. I intended to be a little bit further along than this. But uh, yeah, I managed to uh, kind of add a little bit more depth to this drawing by doing some shading with some pencil, as well as by adding some white using some white ink. And I kind of created this on the side just really quickly when I went to bed. And uh, yeah, that was pretty good. Hello there. I see a couple of you have joined me. Hi, Zen Mama. Hi, Tamara. <clears throat> yeah, so we'll get started in a bit here. Hi, DV. And so this is what I had for for yesterday, really, just the, the little bit of additions that I did to it. So I was thinking about these right here, and I think that what I'm going to do now, and I already set up the page, so you're going to see it in, in a second. I had this idea to, rather than working of, on a white page and adding color to it, I thought of doing the opposite instead of starting with dark and then adding light to it. So that's what I'm thinking of doing. <laughs> hi there. Hi everyone. Looks like DB, Tamara, Pearl. Hello. Hello. Hello there. <clears throat> okay. So I'm just going to go ahead and switch to the page that I'm going to be working on. You'll see that I prepped it already. I already had my inks out earlier and so what you see here and I'm trying to keep it from being washed out too much and uh, what this is is it's just the watercolor paper and I added a few inks that I kind of mixed together I'll actually show you just really quickly what they are in case you are interested if you like to do to play around with inks I've got a few here and they, they actually turned out really nice let's see here <clears throat> <clears throat> Vani, hello from North Carolina. Patricia from Florida, hello. Karen, hello. <laughs> so these are the inks that I used. I know I've used them before. This is a muted green by Liquitex. These are acrylic inks. And I mixed it a little bit with this De La Rowney Pearlescent. So that's where you're, we're getting all this sheen. It's kind of really making it kind of shine especially with the lights being on the side that that kind of angular light coming in is really really making it shine a lot so I mixed these two to get that kind of greenish hue and then I played around with if you may be able to see there's a little bit of a different color here that's actually these purples I mixed this muted violet I love this one so much and I mixed it with some of this pearlescent liquid acrylic ink. So again, I ended up with a couple of these. So they do look lovely on their own, but of course they do look lovely together also. That is something that you can always do is mix your inks and try to create different colors. So that's what this is. <clears throat> Let me see if I can kind of do some tilting here. Maybe show the true colors underneath. So they are muted still. They are a bit bit soft. I tried to make sure that the page was wet and then uh, I, I had to flatten it out because it does kind of buckle a little bit if you add a lot of water. So I made sure to try to manage that. Now what I want to do here is use white on top of this. <clears throat> That's what I'm trying to do here. <laughs> Hello there. Hi, yeah, I see I see a good number of you have joined. Hello. Who, did I, who have I missed? Who did I miss? Vani. Hello. Patricia. Carrie. <laughs> yeah. So all this, it, I just got started about four minutes ago, four or five minutes ago. Not a lot has happened. I did this off camera. <clears throat> 
If you're wondering, and I do apologize, my throat is still bothering me. I still have allergies. I still have all that stuff going on. So I'll do my best to not make too much noise. But yeah, you didn't miss any of this. This was done off camera. And uh, yeah, I'm glad to have you guys here. I'm going to be playing around with some of this white ink on top of this. Since this is pretty... It doesn't look too dark because there's black next to it. But if you'd seen it before there was the black you would have thought oh that page is pretty dark but yeah i'm gonna play around with this and i'll show you what the inspiration is it's another one that i'd drawn <clears throat> recently and it kind of gave me some ideas and uh yeah the pearlescent is really lovely isn't it it's i i guess i'm just wondering how well it shows on camera but i think you guys know what pearlescent stuff looks like it's just got this glitter this sheen to it and it's just really lovely especially when you're just playing with the inks it looks so good so this is something i was playing around with and this paper already came like this i did not do this design but i did love it very much and so this is just scrapbooking paper and i started working with the white ink and so black and white on top of it and just kind of adding to it to see what I could do. I really enjoyed this a lot so I'd like to kind of try it on my own on one of my own backgrounds and I will hope that this shiny shimmery shiny shimmery background won't interfere too much but if you're wondering what kind of white ink I'm using this is my preferred ink Dr. PH Martin's pen white. You can fill your technical uh, pens with it. You, if you have refillables, you can dip into it. Or like I'm going to do right now, I'm going to use a brush, which I will like to find here. It is a very tiny one. Let's see. I believe this is it. There we go. Yeah, Pearl is saying that you like to mix inks. Yeah, <laughs> they do. They look so nice when you mix them and you can make your own color. So if you have like a... A certain amount maybe have a handful between six and ten inks I know that probably sounds like a lot I'm sorry <laughs> that might be a lot of inks but if at least you have four ink colors you can kind of mix them and come up with your own little designs but yeah I think at the moment I may have about ten bottles of ink which is plenty that's more than enough right now but I am enjoying it quite a bit <laughs> <clears throat> Yep, I'm just going to look at the comments real quick. I do apologize if I miss your comment. I am kind of trying to actually show some drawing and painting as well. So yeah, if you want to make sure, if absolutely make sure that I see your comment, if it's really important to you, you want to put in there at Miss Betsy so I can see it a little bit better. Um, but otherwise, I'll just kind of scan through, scan through the things. Yeah, Vani is saying pollen is no joke. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. Your car is yellow with the pollen that's that's crazy hey at least the plants are plants are going so let me see I might need to kind of zoom in just a little make sure that everything is in view because <clears throat> what I'm going to try to do is what I have here is this little little guy which again it's Uh, so I think DB is asking about the ink, if it's the same as India ink. Uh, I don't really know what the usage for the for India ink is. I've always seen that India ink is black. But uh, I'm pretty sure this is an acrylic thing. Mm -hmm. Flows through pen point of a quarter millimeter and larger. For technical pens. Yeah, I, I wouldn't think of it as India ink. I think that India ink is more like a black ink, probably. <clears throat> this is a technical ink. But what I have is this little container that's filled with it. And uh, you have white India ink. Huh, that's interesting. Yeah, I think it might be a different product then. Yeah, I haven't, I didn't, I didn't know that they made that. You might want to maybe do some drawings and see how that is compared to this one. This one is like a, imagine if it was white out. I have a white out right here. Imagine the way this looks when you put it on top of something just really stark white, like very obvious white. That's what this is like. Uh, I've never tried the ink you're talking about, but that'd be interesting. I'd like to try it out someday. White India ink, huh? I wonder if it's the same thing or different, but I wouldn't know. Yeah. So all I'm really going to be doing is just kind of dipping my brush and just seeing what kind of uh, little bursts and, and little designs we can make here. And then once I 
feel for a few of them. Just gonna get a feel for it because every ink is a little different depending on whether you add. Ooh. I feel like from your perspective, this might be a little difficult to see, but on my side, it is very, very clear. It is very obvious. I guess this is what happens when we are experimenting. So I'm going to kind of move it over here a little bit. I'll see if maybe angling it can help us. Thank you guys for hitting the little hearts. <laughs> I like to see the little hearts. That's really nice. So again, this is one of those experiments that's kind of teaching me to, to try to observe things backwards, to try to Got to kind of go in reverse and think about my processes. Not that it's necessary. It's never necessary. It's just something that I like to do to kind of remind me. <coughs> yeah, the Bombay white ink. Yeah, so as I'm reading from DB... Looks like your ink doesn't mention anything about being able to put it in, in a technical pen. Yeah. I think just the, the thinness or thickness of this one might be just a little different. I think that's why I enjoy this one so much. So I'm just creating these little kind of sort of teardrop shapes, I think is what I would call them. And just clustering them together, starting from the thicker part and then just kind of making it thinner as I go down. I just want to see how they look together. That is all. That's all I'm doing. So it's just a reminder to myself, I can doodle with anything. And it's nice to kind of practice with brushes too, because they are so, they're so necessary when you're creating all sorts of different things. Just simple little brushes. That's always nice. And of course, if you are here, you're joining along, you're probably drawing something else. You can draw something like this if you want. If you have black paper, that's always nice to, it's always nice to draw on. <laughs> Carrie's asking if Ron's here. He's not here yet. He's, he's the party. He is the party. Let's see here. So yeah, I think the white looks all right. I'm enjoying it so far. <clears throat> I'm probably just going to add a few more to this here and then I'm going to switch for a second just to see how how I can start convincing this to play with some of the black I want to see how they look together in here so far not so bad not so bad Okay, that's pretty good. Unfortunately, my ears are ringing a little bit. It's kind of kind of strange. A little bit of ear ringing. So I've got this strange kind of sound in my ear right now, but it's okay. It should probably fade in a bit. Okay, so I think I'm going to leave that like that for now because I'm fine with it. <coughs> I need to make sure I have something here to rinse it off in because I don't want this caking on. Do not want caked on paint. So uh, Vani is saying the ink sounds like ink, or like the ink in the jelly roll. Uh, yeah, I guess it kind of does. But from my experience with the jelly roll, it is definitely not the same ink. It is not, yeah. It sounds like it would be, huh? Yeah, I, I, I'm I, not too fond of jelly roll pens. Not too fond of them. They don't always work for me. I don't know if it's just the fact that they're in the kind of pen that they are, but the ink is different. Yeah, this is not, this is not gel ink. It's, it is traditional kind of liquid, liquid ink. Probably an acrylic ink, although I don't see it on here, but it's, I feel like it should be an acrylic ink. 
So what I'm going to try for a second here, I'm going to attempt and more experimenting. So kind of in the vicinity here, I want to see how much contrast I get with some black. I'm just going to use my trusty, my trusty black pen. Tamara says, almost looks like water is splashing up. Yeah. A little splash of water, huh? Yep, yep. I, so what I might do later is I'll just kind of repeat this throughout just so that there's kind of a motif. And I'm trying to see where I want to start. Wow, this is so shiny. It's such a shiny page. I'm just going to make a little, a few swirls here. I just want to see the contrast. This is just a random kind of black, black ink pen. And what's, what should start to happen, my hope is, again, we're experimenting here, at least I am, is that as the black starts entering the scene here, just a little bit at a time, the contrast will start to kind of play more. It'll have an effect. Because right now we just have this wide, vast sea of blue, and it is very shiny. in <laughs> DV if you haven't been brave enough to draw in the journals <laughs> I'm I'm rooting for you I'm rooting for you I know you can do it you can do it so I'm just continuing on right here so you can see now it's starting to kind of add a little bit more of a different different atmosphere to things Just a little bit. So I am thinking right now about um, you being afraid of drawing in the books in the in your journal. If you have any drawings that you you do like that you've made, something you're really proud of but you ended up doing it on a different piece of paper. Something you might want to do is kind of trim that up and just try doing a little bit of a, kind of like a collage, like I did in some, some drawings before. Glue something on there that you really like so that at least you feel like your, your work is in the book now. That, that might be an option. That's one way to go about it. Okay, so there we go. It's bringing a little bit more contrast since the page is so very shiny. I think that's what's helping. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh yeah, so I'm just kind of reading through the comments. Yeah, some people also said to glue something in. Yeah, try, try a little bit of collage maybe, yeah. Glue something in. If you're worried that the thing you glue in, you might not want it there forever, make a little pocket. I don't know if you've ever done that. It's it's something that comes from kind of that junk journaling. If you've ever done junk journaling, make little pockets and little belly bands and all these cute little things. And your drawings don't have to be permanently attached to the pages. They can just be in the little pockets. You can kind of glue in there a little a cute little envelope. And so you don't have to commit 100% to having something in there. You know, I did that with plenty of things. Plenty of things. So you can see I'm kind of adding some black here to the base of this one, adding to the contrast. Let me move it because I know it's very, very shiny. So like that. It is a very shiny page. Sometimes it seems like I'm trying to improve the lighting and instead it just gets worse. <laughs> but yeah, that's what it looks like as the contrast is improved, as it changes. Something like that. Let's see here. I 
feel like what I might do is just get a little bit closer. I think that might give me a little more control over this. So I do apologize. For some reason, this camera is very fussy about the, the light, light levels. Very, very fussy. And so I feel like it has a tendency to wash out things even when I wish it wouldn't. Yeah, that's what it's looking like. And so I think that my idea for today is that I'm just going to kind of play around with this page and just try to try to determine what potential it has and, uh, and kind of go from there. Yeah. <laughs> James made it. Hello. Yeah, so you can kind of see just just playing around with those colors. And, and I'm hoping that I'm getting across the idea, at least when you guys see me doing this stuff here, that, that a good amount of the time I don't necessarily know what I'm doing. I'm just kind of, I'm giving things a try. I'm giving it a chance. And, and you can be that way too. I feel like a little bit of that white ink is, is uh, messing around with my, my pen. I might have to clean it off on something. And those are essentially the things that we learn as we kind of experiment with our supplies. I'm going to try to start connecting things. Just by adding more lines here and there. There's There will be an attempt. So sort of like right there. I'm just gonna kind of keep going around. I will be adding some lines. I, there is no plan. There's no science right now. There's just intuition and flowing lines. Gotta love flowing lines. So yeah, very shiny. I do like this. What I might try is next time that I that I show you guys how I work on this ink, I'll use my other camera. It tends to wash this kind of stuff out less. I think that way you'll be able to see a little more of what's what happens there because it is very cool. It's like this little pseudo mirror. Very nice. <laughs> yeah, Patricia, the black within the white pattern. It does. It makes it pop. You want that contrast because that that initial. The initial color is just there to kind of get you started. <clears throat> and then we will just kind of go from there. I'm going to see what it looks like if I add, start adding white to the other elements. Just little highlights. So I'm going back to my brush, just dipping a tiny bit. See what happens. So these are my little circles. I'm just trying to bring that back out. Just the center, not the whole thing. I'm not trying to color the whole thing white. Otherwise, it kind of undoes all the work, right? Don't want to entirely undo all the work. Just a little bit of white inside. So that's what I'm trying to do right here. Kind of inside of each one of my little swirls. See what happens. Even if this doesn't come out the way I wanted to, I feel like I could certainly try this again. I really love that blue with the shimmer in the background. Love it so much. Very, very nice to look at. I'm unfortunately one of the people who just loves glitter and loves shimmer. I love all that kind of stuff. So much. For a brief amount of time, I did used to work at a uh, at a craft store, <laughs> and it was just ridiculous how in the kind of starting around October when we were stocking all of the all of the holiday decorations for the holiday sales, so much glitter everywhere. <laughs> it was just glitter everywhere. I loved it though. I thought it was so good. Let's see. Are you going to show that? There it goes. 
for some reason when my hand gets in the way. Yeah, it's a bit silly. But yeah, I think we're. I'm going to carry on for just a little bit longer. Um, I, I'm hoping I mentioned it. I feel like my brain's all over the place today. I'm, I'm thinking of today's live stream being just a little shorter. Just because I have so much stuff to do today and I don't want to be... I don't want to be too negligent of my responsibilities today. So I just wanted to kind of get on here and doodle with you guys for a little while. Have some fun, you know, usual stuff. Usual stuff. Work on my work on my drawings here. Just kind of show you what it's like when you experiment. When you kind of play around with the stuff. Let's see here. So I'm just kind of checking out my screen. Okay. Alrighty then. So I think I'm just going to continue with a little more line work here. Let's see what happens. Because I feel like right here, it's already looking very oceany, isn't it? It's got an ocean feel with all these blues. All these little waving lines. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Great minds think alike, right? Great minds think alike. I know the week is just getting started. It's still the beginning of the week. Not quite the middle. I hope you're all doing okay. I certainly found myself stressing out earlier. Don't know why. I think I'm just that person. But I'm I'm glad that I have these little moments to kind of reset my mind and just remind myself things are okay. Things are okay. So that's what this is. It's just a little moment to kind of remember everything is okay. I have I have a pen in my hand, I have a notebook or a journal, or whatever it is I'm drawing in at the time. I'm okay. That's kind of what this is. It's my reminder, I'm okay. And I know that this, it's different for everyone. I know that not everyone has, has issues. Not everyone has trauma. But for those of us who do, it is really important to kind of have these little moments where we take breaks and just kind of kind of reset the brain it's at least for me I found it's really important I've really needed it really really important and if you just want to have fun this is great too it's a it's a good little hobby you can have some fun and just draw and doodle around I guess today I'm feeling these spirals today's the day of spirals I think I'm just going to go ahead and do a slightly bigger one here. We're going to spiral this thing up right here. Heading inward. Round and around. Like like a little cinnamon roll, but not really. He's too cute to be a cinnamon roll. There we go. I think I'm just going to fill that with black. Why not? I would really like to add some little white highlights to these curved lines here because I know it's really going to help bring them out. So kind of to the center here, white line. That's all I'm doing. You'll see me just add these little white lines, watch. In the center of each one of these little slices. Just like that. And I might come back and add just a little more, but this is the beginning. I'm kind of just forcing this spot right here to have a highlight so that this whole thing looks less flat. So right here and right here. There we go. It looks like it pops a little more. That's what we've got. It's got to it's got to pop a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. An underwater scene with the little bubbles. Yeah, it's like everything's just waving around in the water. So when I'm going through here, I'm kind of covering up that black line just a little bit. It helps really emphasize the, the highlight effect there. At least I think it does. <laughs> I might be crazy. 
but this is what I think. I think it really brings it out. A little bit of white. A little bit here and a little bit there. Yeah, I like that. That's pretty good. It's good to just kind of play around, see what happens. I'm so glad I used that shimmer ink. I can't, I can't get over it. It's so nice. So yeah, if you have never tried to use white ink, this is what it's like. This is what it is. It's got its challenges for sure. Uh, if this manages to dry, I might show you how sometimes if this ink dries too thick, like if I leave a spot that's too thick, it might crack. That's the only thing I wish it didn't do. I wish it didn't crack. But such is life. If I want to avoid any of that cracking, then what I'll do is I would switch to the, the gouache and that does not crack. But the white ink does have its purposes and I like it very much. So I think so far it's looking really cute. It's very cute. I think I'm just gonna have to go ahead and like Draw all the way around these these white these initial formations here. See if I can avoid drawing over the white ink. It seems like this pen in particular with that white ink don't they don't play nice. So I'm gonna try to avoid. There we go. Just kind of go around it, frame it in. Something like that. Kind of really force it to stand out. And it doesn't have to be right next to it, I think. I'm going to try just kind of giving it some space. Something like that. Close enough. I think it works. I think that would work. I can keep playing around with that. Yeah, definitely. I'm just going to fill this in black. Why not? I'm trying to remember that sometimes it's good to have these little kind of dark spots to contrast with everything else this is very important for me at least in my little doodles and drawings i like to have these really black spots to contrast methinks it's important so i'm going to do a few here maybe over here for good measure so that's pretty good yeah, it goes a little slow. It goes slow, but that's how it is. That's how the, all of this is. Is you gotta take your time. Because while we're here, we may only get a little bit of this drawing done. I probably will work on the rest when... Probably before bedtime. That's usually a good time for me. Is right before bed, and I know I'm ready to just kind of settle down. And I'll take this with me. Probably add to it a little more. Just a little more. All these little guys. <laughs> I almost want to draw them with the little, <clears throat> what are they called? Like with little tentacles. Not quite as if it were a snail, but as if it were just some little creature just kind of swimming around. Makes me want to draw maybe like a cuttlefish or something like that. Something crazy. I might I might look into that. I might try to see if I can find a some reference images and draw a little cuttlefish. That'd be cute. Hey, I think I'm just gonna add in some larger ones. Why not? Something like that. And I'm going to switch back to the white ink really quickly so that I can just add more. So Karen says, oh, it looks awesome. Thank you. This is fun. For me, at least. <laughs> Joking. I'm sure you guys all love, love creating. You love drawing along, making your own creations. You can add different elements to yours and see where that takes you. see where it takes you 
And if, if it, like I was saying about the white ink, sometimes it cracks. If your ink does something you don't want it to do, just kind of accept it. It's easy to get upset thinking that something got ruined, but eh, just, just let it be. Sometimes those imperfections look kind of nice later. You end up realizing that they look good. That's kind of how I, I end up discovering a lot of stuff. Something unintended, something strange. I'm going to start adding a little bit of some of these kind of waving forms over here. These flowing lines. I feel like I need more of them over here. Like that. Just nice. Nice big one. Just go with it, you know? Right here. See how far we can go with this one. It's also nice because this one works up kind of quickly. Just lots and lots of flowing lines. Right here. And they just kind of start creating their own thing. Just on their own. Just one little line at a time. <laughs> with the ribbon it finally sunk in. Yeah. It can take a minute. So like that. Just nice little wavy lines. And as I go, I kind of just choose a different spot to connect it. I love this. It's so random, isn't it? So random. It's like a coordinated chaos. You never know where it's going to take you. I think I'm just going to keep adding to both sides. It kind of makes it look, it looks like it's getting chubbier and chubbier. I love that. Really chubby. Oh, it's going to be so much fun adding white to that too. You'll see just how much of a difference it makes. You add some white. It doesn't have to be ink. It could be something else. Yeah, it could be all sorts of things. Yeah. Thank you for the hearts, you guys. That's nice. I like the little hearts. I can see them in my, my chat there. <laughs> I'm going to add a few here to kind of help. Just to help a little. Little helpers. That's pretty nice. All right, let's let's do that thing. So let's add white. So I've got my my nice curves here and now I'm going to add little highlights. So I'm going to dip and each one of these little lines is kind of in the center of the formation. And I will just keep adding these. I will admit this is hard. I have been practicing and that's been helping me a lot to kind of steady my hand. I know I need the practice. So I might mess this up, but I'm hoping I don't. Gotta practice, 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 practice. So same thing for you if you want to do this. You got to try your hand at it first. You got to try it. You're never going to figure it out if you don't try it. If you don't mess it up when, you know, a couple of times, a couple dozen times, a couple hundred times, who knows? Okay, so those, those are my whites. And let me add some shadow here. There we go. So it helps kind of bump it out. It helps give it some more of that depth. If I really, really want to bring that forward, let's say I'm in the mood. I'm feeling, feeling artistic. I could do the simple thing. Where's my little friend? Very simple thing is to add some shading in the deeper parts. So for me, it's right here where all these lines kind of converge and they get very close together. This is where I can add a little bit of pencil shading. Why not? You might have a different ink wash as well. You can add some of that there. But look at that. Just a pencil. If you got a charcoal pencil, that's good too. Whatever you got. You got some of that, like a dark gray or a, some other kind of ink wash. Uh, you could add that there too. Look at that. Just a little pencil. Let's do some over here. Let's see if it helps. Gotta try it out. 
Oh, nice. I love shadows. I love shadows. There we go. Yeah, a little shading. Makes it, makes it so much more fun. So much more interesting to look at. So highlights, shadows. Essentially that kind of blue and purple that was underneath served as my mid-tones. And now I'm just kind of accentuating everything. Adding contours. Where's my pen? Oh, there she is. So I think I'm going to do this for a few more minutes and then, yeah, I, I got to go. I have to go wash the dishes. I go take care of that. Start making dinner. Lots of stuff to do. I know this always puts me in, <laughs> it always puts me in a better mood. I love seeing this. Like, it looks so nice. I like this one. I will do this again for sure. This is turning out really nice. I am quite happy with it. Tooting my own horn again. I'm sorry. I, I can't help it. It's, it isn't so much that I'm, <laughs> it's not that I'm pleased with myself. I'm pleased with it. The, I'm pleased with the page. The page is pleasing and I like that. And isn't that what this is about? Is to kind of make, make your own happy on a piece of paper. Make some happy. Isn't that what it's about? At least for me, that's what it's about. I'm trying to make some happy. <laughs> the dishes can wait. <laughs> oh, but the dishes have already waited for, for, for a while. <laughs> Yeah, I'm terrible. I my I've I've been looking at those dishes and I'm thinking, oh no, I should have washed those yesterday. I'm that person. Yeah, usually I'm thinking the dishes can wait, but oh my goodness, you gotta be an adult sometimes. Sometimes, not always. You'll notice that I'm adding my thick line right here. So what this is, is it's going to help separate, separate the elements because this, I'm enjoying it kind of being in the foreground, sort of being nice and chubby and just kind of jumping out. And I'm going to start adding a few more lines here and uh, yeah, that'll keep adding to it. Let's keep going here. I'm going to do some of this line work. I'm going to scoot a little bit. <laughs> DB, always beautiful. Yeah, thank you. Katya says you live in Baltimore. You really needed this. Oh, I'm glad you're enjoying yourself. My my idea for doing this, which I know some of you know this already, is is that, or you may not know this, who knows? Everything is too fast to me. It feels like uh, if I'm looking through YouTube or looking for a movie or looking for something to watch, it's always so fast. It's so, in, it's engaging, and I guess that's good. Everything is just so much, and sometimes for some of us, we need a, we need a slowdown. And that's what this is in my world. It's a little, a little slowdown. Take a minute to breathe. To feel the floor under, underneath my feet. And to just draw a few lines and just remember things are okay. That's what this is for me. And I get to play around. Get to play around with a little bit of ink. With my pen. I'm going to add some white here now. Bring it to life a little bit. Just a little white. <laughs> Uh, Teresa, you missed the beginning. Uh, is that watercolor background? Ah, yes. Uh, the background is not watercolor. It's something similar. It's ink. Yeah, it's an ink wash with a couple of different inks that I kind of mixed up. One of them is a, or two of them actually, some of the ink that I used is a shimmery ink. I'll show you real quick. It's okay. Something like this. Pearlescent liquid acrylic ink, something like that, and a couple of colors that were of this Liquitex acrylic ink, yeah. So it's almost like a watercolor background, almost, almost, pretty close, yeah. Watercolor backgrounds are nice too. They look very, very pretty. I, I have a tendency to not, not enjoy watercolor as much, I don't know why, but I love ink. 
absolutely loving. Even though it's super similar. <laughs> very, very similar. Yeah, what did Zen Mama? I think I, I read something by Zen Mama. You've been known to toss out the <laughs> toss them out and just find new ones. <laughs> wow. Don't say that. That's what my mother used to do. My mother used to break them. I guess you guys are finding out the kind of things I grew up with. She's she's a she's a nice person, but sometimes she would something would get into her and she would just get really mad and just say, Well, if no one's gonna wash the dishes, then I guess we don't need them and she would just start breaking them. And we would be without dishes for a couple of weeks and we just she would just leave us each like a plastic one. Ugh. My mother had a lot of emotions. She had a lot of emotions. So yeah, I don't think I would be the kind to throw them away. <laughs> Not like that. I, I should wash them. I need to be a big kid and wash them. Yeah, and of course, I'm not saying that you do what you do for the same reasons that my mother did. It's everyone's got their own thing. Yeah. It's a lot of a lot of memories. It's a lot of things. So you can kind of see how when we're sitting here kind of drawing some some memories come back, don't they? For me, they do. It's a lot of things to think about. A lot of things. And I know I've mentioned this before, but for those of you who are here and hopefully you're enjoying yourself, even if you're just listening to the chat, just listening to us kind of kind of chat a little bit while we're drawing, the point is that you're not alone. Don't be alone because your thoughts can, uh, if you're having a hard time with anything, when you're alone, your thoughts can betray you. It's so easy to start thinking things that are probably not very healthy. So, if that's you, then I'm glad you're here, and you don't have to be alone. There's no need for that. There's no need. You don't have to draw. You don't have to do anything. And just hang out. And just hang out a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Teresa said the shimmery ink is so, so pretty. It is. I, I am certainly going to try to take some really, really good pictures and kind of at, towards the end of the week, I'll try to share with you guys in the, I'll try to share with all of you in the community tab, some nice, clear pictures of how all of this looks. So you can really see the outcome in a in nice clarity, nice clarity, but I'm sure you can see it. It's my little shimmery baby. It's so cute. It gives me mermaid vibes. I love it. Maybe I should try to draw a mermaid in here at some point if I were brave and add a little mermaid. I could do that. A little bit of ink, a little bit of white ink, a little bit of black ink. Ink everywhere. Oh, this was too tight. This is so tiny. I am. I'm really pushing my luck here. Come on, Betsy. Don't draw so tiny. Too tiny. Okay, I'm going to try to add some white lines to these these little curves that are over here on the right-hand side. Let's let's practice our hand steadiness right here with this itty-bitty brush. If you have a jelly roll, you can do this. It might be easier. I do I know I have one. I was playing with one recently. It's around here somewhere. But right now I am practicing, I'm trying to practice using, using this little brush. I actually do enjoy this. Something, something like this should be good. Let's rinse it out. Don't want this kicked on. <laughs> DB, you just stopped cooking altogether. Yeah, cooking is hard work. It is. I enjoy it though. Sun Mama says this page is calming. Yeah, I'm glad you like it. I'm enjoying it a lot too. The colors, it's those colors are just really working. They're working together. It's pretty nice, yeah. Yeah, it's pretty good. <laughs> Patricia, you love these live moments. Yeah. This is what it's for. This is why I do it. This is exactly why. For 
for me and for others, for everybody. The little bit of moment where you realize that it's so much better being together than alone. So much better. Even if it's just for a little moment. There's no need. Uh, let's see, what time are we at? I'm checking real quick. 49, 50 minutes exactly. We're at 50 minutes. I think this is going to be a good spot for me to pause. Some of this does need to dry. Some of it does need to dry. So I think this is a good time for me to let it dry. And that way I can check up on it later. I can check up on it later. And see how it's progressed. How it's been doing once it gets to hang out. So yeah. <laughs> Hello there. Hi. Um, uh, I can't pronounce your name. But you said you don't interact much. But you do, you do like this little community. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad you like it. Yeah. It's just a group of a few of us. Yeah. You just hang out and draw. Or don't draw. Just hang out. I'm going to show you the other page before I go. Just so that you can see what's coming. What is going to happen tomorrow. Tomorrow, tomorrow. So I had some of the, the purple left. Let me try to show you the shimmer. I'm very alliterative today. I will show you the shimmer right here. It's very shiny. So this is what it looks like when I mix to those two lovely inks, this shimmery ink and this muted violet. They looked so pretty together. So I took the leftovers and I put it over here. So it is a very shiny, shiny thing. And tomorrow I'll be, I'll try to figure out what to draw on this. That's, that's what's going to happen. That's what's going to happen. Yeah. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this. This is what it looks like from a little bit farther away so that you can kind of see, you can catch uh, kind of those details on this. But yeah, thank you. Thank you for joining me today. This was fun. This was really nice. I'm glad that you were here. I'm, I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, that's going to be it for today. Thank you for the hearts, you guys. Thank you for the little hearts. If you're wondering what time we're going to meet up during the week, you can check the description of the video. I have it posted there. I'll check again real quick just to make sure that it's there. But it's always in the description of the videos. My schedule. This is for the 100 day project. This is drawing number 35. So we've got quite a few more to go. Quite a few more drawings that you can join me. Join me with. Thank you so much. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. <laughs>